Here's the intro. I'm gonna start off with the open A. I'm gonna hammer on first fret and then pull off back to the open A. Okay. Then you're gonna go do a G. It's the third fret of the E string. So back to the A. So far we have. Now you're gonna go G and pull off to the open E. Alright, so here we go. Alright. Now he kind of does the same thing but an octave higher. He's here on this B flat. Alright, that's the B flat. He's playing these three strings, the uh, the second, which is the B. The third string, which is the G string, and the uh, fourth string, which is the D string, all on the third fret. And you're hammering on, okay, kind of like the same thing, same kind of rhythm here. Okay, you're doing so. These three strings, hammer on the two. I mean, pull off the two. Open two. Second time you end on that A, on the A chord. Alright, so the first time you're doing. Second time you're doing. Repeat that. Alright, now you're gonna open E, e minor chord. You strum from the uh, bottom E string to the top one. Give us some Bigsby too. Now you go to a rockabilly shuffle, okay? You're playing this E5 chord, which is open E. And second fret on the B string, right? Palm muting with this hand, so you don't make noise. And you're doing this rockabilly shuffle from open E to the G. Alright, except it's really fast. Okay. Now you're gonna do uh, this. So twice, up and down, open E, second, and then second fret, F sharp, to the G, to the A, to the B, C sharp, D, E. The E only hit once, so. And then repeat the same thing you did earlier. Come up here, 11th fret on the B string and open E. 11 to the 10, 
I always play in this open E. To the 9, to the 10, 11, 9. Now you're going to go to the uh, 12th fret on the E string and bend it up. So you got this. Okay, do this again. Now you're going to come back up here. 12 on the B string and then open E. You're gonna always play this open E. You're going to go 12, 14, 15. Okay. Three times on the 15th, back to the 12th, and then 14th fret on the G string, bend up. Alright, so you got this. Excuse me. There we go. <laughs> it's hard to do this slow for some reason. All right, now you do this again. Now you're doing uh, this. It's a rockabilly scale. Uh, all right, so you're on the uh, on the high E string, third fret, two, zero. Same thing on the B string. Same thing on the G string. So go. It's really fast. Minor chord. Now you're coming up here, you're playing a G. Uh, three G's you're playing. You're playing G on the D string on the fifth fret, open G string on the third fret, and a high G on the eighth fret of the B string. So I move this up two frets. This time you kind of want to mute this open G string. Okay, so. There you play it. Now you mute it a little bit. Back to the E minor. Move this up two more frets. And then we go into the chorus. The chorus. We're playing this high E chord, right? That's uh, you're playing C and D, right? This is the five chord, uh, the power chord, right? C and D, really fast. I kind of like to do it here, playing this C and then the, the this chord here. You, you can do a little more shuffle. It. But the Reverend plays it up here. Start off from the 12th fret of the E string and you're gonna slide over all the way down to zero. And then you're gonna do this little lick right here. Very popular rockabilly lick. Uh, you're on the uh, third fret of the E string and the second fret of the B string. Alright. Now you're gonna slide up here. That's E and E, right? Uh, fifth fret of the B string, which is E, and then open E. Okay, 
Okay, you're still playing this E here on the B string, and now you're adding the 5th fret on the E string, the 6th fret on the E string, and back to the 5th fret. Okay, now the second time you do this, you're going backwards from the 6th fret of the E string to the 5th to the 3rd. Alright, so you got this. Okay, now you're going to do the same thing, except you're going to come up here. It's the same thing here, but you're doing it here. Uh, you're on the 9th fret uh, of the G string and the 8th fret of the B string. Now the reason you're doing it up here is because you also want to get this high E here. Alright, so you're going to... And then... So you're adding the uh, 10th fret, the 11th fret, and then back to the 10th fret. There you go. Alright, now you come back here, do that, now you're going to slide up here. Okay, here you're sliding. Sixth fret of the E string, fifth, uh, seventh fret of the B string, and you're sliding up one fret. All right. Now you come up here to the. Uh, you're gonna play the E minor pentatonic shape on the twelfth fret. Okay. You're gonna do everything twice, up and down. You're gonna start here on the twelfth uh, fret of the E string. Okay. So twelfth fret of the E string, fifteenth fret on the B string, twelfth fret on the B string. 15th fret on the B, 12th fret on the E A. Alright. This 14th fret on the G string, 12th fret on the B string, 15 again on the G. This is the uh, 12th fret on the G string, 14th fret on the D string. 12th fret on the G string again. 12th fret on the D string. 14th fret on the D string. So you got this so far. That last time you just hit it once. Okay. Now you come here, double stop on the 12th fret of the E and the B string, and then you're going to bend the 14th fret on the, uh, on the G string. Now you're going to put your pinky down here and do a double stop on the 15th fret of the E and the B. So you're doing this. And the 14th fret here that you got uh, bending, you're going to bring it down. Slowly until you're back to position, and then the twelfth uh, fret on the B and the G. So you got this. And then you're going to end the second verse with this little lick. Still the E minor pentatonic scale, starting on the uh, 14th fret of the A string, 12th fret on the D string, 12th fret on the A string, 15th fret of the E string, and you end on the E, and that E is going to take you right into the chorus. From the top, real slow, you got your, this whole verse.
Third and final verse, this got a uh, short and sweet, it's got one little guitar lick. Okay, start on the open E, slide from the second to the third fret on the E, to the second fret on the B string. Alright, so go. Second time you go to the, you do it, you go to the D on the A string. C, third fret on the A string. And then open A and then B. I say, got this. Second time you do this, very similar with one slight variation. So instead of going to this D, you go to the A. I like to add the Bigsby on there. I know he doesn't do it on the recording, but I think it sounds cool. same way. And you're going to end that with a big E minor chord and let it ring. Of course, big speed. And then uh, he plays it again. To get it ringing. And then he plays with the delay pedal, the delay or whatever delay he uses, uh, whatever delay you use. Play around with it. It'll make some funky noises uh, until the end of the song. That's it. Hope you enjoyed this video. See you next time.